Let's see how you can check the data type of a value in JavaScript. Hello and welcome back to my channel. You can check the data type of a value with the type of a statement. This will give you the type, the data type of the value that you write to the right. If you're writing this, you will see the data type of the value that you have right here to the right. Because type of is a statement, an instruction that comes already predefined in JavaScript. If we open the terminal like we did before, you should already have Node.js installed to do this. We run this command node program.js. You will not see anything in the output. To see the value, we need to print it or show it in the console. And how do we do that? Well, we just write console.log. That is our way of telling the computer that we want to show the result of this that we write within parentheses in JavaScript. And you can see that we are ending this line with a semicolon which is very important in JavaScript. It's actually optional, but it's recommended and you will see it everywhere in real JavaScript projects. You should include this at the end of every statement, at the end of every instruction that you write. Now, if we run the program again, just a quick tip, if you press the up arrow, you will automatically have the command that you just ran, the last command that you just ran. If you press the down arrow, you will go back to an empty command. And then you press enter. Now you see the output, which is string. This is the data type of this value. Okay, hello world is a string, like we expected because we have the double quotes surrounding a sequence of characters. Now let's move this terminal to the right. We right click here and we change the panel position to the right. I think this will be helpful. Okay, this will be helpful. We can see the code and then here we can see the output. Now let's change this from a string to a number. Let's say that we want to know the data type of the number 15. Now if we run the command again, we can see the output number. So this is part of the number data type. Awesome, right? If we have a decimal number, we see that it's also part of the number data type. And if we write a truth value, like true or false, you will see that we have a value of the Boolean data type. No, you would see that this is an object. And undefined, let's see what undefined is. Undefined is part of the undefined data type. These are interesting results and you may like to experiment with this further. For example, for negative numbers, we can confirm that they are still part of the number data type, like this. Remember, type of. This is a statement or the instruction that you can use to check the data type of a value. And you have to separate it with a space from the value and write it to the right.